Hey, John Dillon here from visualbroccoli.com. In this session, we're going to show you how to kind of mock up a book to use within your presentation. Now, if you're wondering where do I get my ideas for these lessons, these are most cases, these are things that I'm actually doing in current presentations. In fact, I'm preparing for a talk that I'm doing this month, and I wanted to kind of dress up an old presentation, and this is the technique that I did to do this. Now, let me show you what we're going to do. Now, in my presentation, um, this is what I had in my previous presentation where I just had this book. In fact, I, I kind of modified this um, and really kind of kept it flat. But I wanted to kind of dress it up a little bit because that's my way nowadays. And what I did was is I actually created a book. Now, we're not going to do this exactly in this tutorial, but we're going to do something very similar to this. This is a little more advanced, and probably later on, I'll do a tutorial on how I did this. But here I had men are from Mars, women from Venus, but I wanted to actually create a different version of the book that's almost identical except for the title. And there's a point behind this, which I'm not going to give away here in this talk. You actually have to come to my session. Anyway, you see it now. I actually have to go in there and remove this comment. I noticed that. And again, there's a lot of techniques. It's a little more advanced, specifically to the advanced. The side here, I actually had to pull the assets from this to do that. But... What we're talking about is doing something a little more 3D, something like this, where I get a, a, a book cover, because most book covers you're going to see online are going to be flat. They're not going to be 2D. So what I'm going to do is take that book cover, and I have a template you can download right from our website, and you can take this and easily bring it in and make your own book. And it's very, very simple. Uh, in another tutorial later on, I'll show you how you can actually make your own book. So here's kind of a mock-up of, of kind of a uh, tongue-in-cheek, if you will, of the Dummies series of books, where I've got visual broccoli for the dummies, and again, there's a talk track with this as well. So again, it just kind of adds a little bit different reality to the book. It just kind of dresses it up. Again, just using the book cover in itself would probably still have a nice effect. This is just something that just takes it a step further. So let's jump into Photoshop and use that template to get started. All right, here we are in Photoshop. And just to kind of make this a little more visual, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my background, which I have a tendency to do because it makes it easier to see. So what this is really kind of com comprised of is a bunch of different layers, and you can download this template right from the website and use it to your heart's content. So here's my cover right here. And basically this is the template and there's a drop shadow. We'll get back to that in a second. So this is the template. And what we're gonna do is, I actually grabbed another book cover. And the one thing is trying to get the largest size image. And this is still going to be a little bit smaller. We're going to do something that's not ideal, but it will work for our purposes. I'm going to just go ahead and drag this layer over to here and make sure it's on top. And we'll make sure it's on top of the book. And there we go. The reason I say it's not ideal is because it's a little bit smaller and we don't like to stretch things, but you know, sometimes you just got to do it. So what I want to do is go ahead and do a transform on this. So I'm going to go to edit, free transform, and we're just going to go ahead and make this a little larger. Now in itself, it's not quite done here. So what I want to do here is, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this layer here. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to drop the opacity to about, I want to be able to see what's behind it. That looks good, around 69%, 70% looks great. Now we're going to do a transform again. So we're going to go ahead and line this up with our template. So I'm going to go edit, free transform. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to hold down the control key or the command key in the Mac, and I'm just going to move this up manually. So I'm going to kind of match it up here and do the same here. And you might have to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little easier, but I've kind of got it down here bring this up. And let's see how we're looking. That's looking pretty good. The template really makes it easy. In fact, let's go ahead and just look over here. This doesn't look quite right to me down here. Eh, it's not too bad. It's a little off. So I'm going to use a shortcut to transform again. I'm going to hit the Control key or Command key and just bring this down just a little bit. And hit Enter. And that's looking pretty good. That was pretty simple. So I'm just going to zoom out. I did a Control zero there. I'm going to turn my shading on here and that just kind of makes it a little more realistic and lo, lo and behold we are all done now there's a few things we can do with this let me just show you one other thing i'm going to do one more thing i'm in photoshop and photoshop's kind of got a neat feature here 
And that's going to be when I actually bring, bring this layer down here. And I'm going to call this shadow page. And I'm just going to go and turn that layer on, which you can't see right now. I'm going to go over here and grab my image, my front page or cover. And I'm going to go ahead and transform again. So I'm going to do Control T or Command T. And what I want to do here is I'm going to right click and I'm going to do the warp tool. And the warp tool really works well for this. So I'm just going to grab this corner and bring it out just a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is kind of give it a realistic image. So if I was actually to set this book up, it would actually kind of sometimes the cover would just open up a little bit. Now I'm also noticing something else down here. My shadow and my cover aren't quite matching up. So you may have to, you know, do some fudging here and just come down like that. There you go. I'm just using the arrow keys. And there we have it. Now all I have to do is turn off the background layer and save this as a PNG file, which we've done in a lot of tutorials. And if you don't remember how to do that, just go File, Save As, and make sure you save it as a PNG file. Right down here. And there it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, it's just a little something just to kind of dress up your presentation. And for the most part, I've done most of the work for you, so you can just bring it in. In another tutorial, I'll actually show you how I made the template so you can apply this. Well, until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your presentations more editable for your audience. Take care.